What's going on guys? Chase Daniel here. This is the Chase Daniel Show. Appreciate everyone watching my channel this year. Make sure you like, subscribe. I read all of my comments, but today we are going to break down Justin Fields. Thought he played one of his better games as a Chicago Bear. I thought that he used his legs in such a unique way uh, this past game to really hurt the Cardinals. They played really well early. They held on late. Uh, and look, the Chicago Bears have an interesting decision to make coming up. What are they going to do? Are they going to draft a quarterback at one? Are they going to roll with Justin Fields? I'm here to break down the Arizona Cardinal game, though, right here, right now. All right. <clears throat> Justin Fields. Ball in once again. Thought he played a hell of a game. Okay. Go show some bad, too. Try to use his legs better than anything this game, more than any anyone I've seen. All right, so here's uh, here's uh, the first play we're breaking down. Okay, little out route, little go ball. This uh, middle cross, which is like 10 to 12 yards. And this deep, uh, like basic, should be at like 14 yards. Couple issues here. One, it's pretty much just man to man, right? You got an out breaking route versus outside leverage not great okay he still wins though late okay ball should be out bottom line get the ball out there were a couple times just a few in this game where i thought justin was late with the football allowed defenders to break on it and this is exactly what happens here okay he just he knows where he's going with the ball okay he just needs to speed his feet up a little bit and uh, that's the biggest issue, not issue, but thing that he needs to work on if he's going to continue to be the Bears quarterback is his footwork. Because watch, watch this, like one, two, just taking his time, tries to speed up his arm. He's lucky he didn't get intercepted. Uh, second issue here. Okay, poor spacing. I want you to watch these two guys up here. Watch them. Like, how they're breaking at the same time. How are you supposed to, if you were to get over here, okay, that's number one. Here's two on this deep cross route. And here's three on this, like, dagger. So if this is your second read and you want to be able to throw the ball there, that's fine. But if your third read gets there, how, the, how are you supposed to make a throw? They're right on top of each other. You thought this guy any, anywhere behind him, he could get picked off by this other guy. I mean, it's just poor spacing. Um, and honestly, yeah, look, he's lucky he didn't get picked off right here. All right. He's alerting it coming over. Watch the footwork here. Didn't think it was great. Honestly, that the offensive line played pretty well. Look how long sweet shoes though, but look how long this, this takes. Let's play it in real time first, just to throw a little out route. Didn't look like he got a really good grip on the football. Watch this one, two. Sorry, let me try to freeze it. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, not not good. Too robotic. Here's another view at it because I want to see his footwork. Thought I got better through the game, but let's play for the game, first third down. Just took six forever. He like double hitches it, can't find a grip on it. Not a good first play. All right, slot formation. Play action pass. Nothing there. And that is the whole really theme of the entire game is just throw it up to Cole Komet. Are you kidding me? Like, this is awesome. I love that they're doing gun play action. All right. And what they're trying to do right here, they're trying to come in and go this deep pylon route, trying to attack. Uh, the corner right here and throw this deep pile on Komet's going to just sort of sit up right there. So you're really reading one to two deep play action shot. I love the fact that Getsy is just splitting the field in half. That's what a lot of really good quarterbacks do as well. So it's not a slight on Justin just lets you throw it uh, and see it a little bit better. Okay. The, this just took a little bit too long to develop. In my opinion, he needs to get out of his break. He could have thrown that, but he's got to have an absolute hose to throw that. Okay. And the safety actually does a center field turn, does pretty well with it. I love the fact that he's just giving his guy, Cole, commit 
a chance to make a play and a hell of a play coming back and getting this ball by a tight end. Like, are you kidding me right now? This is sweet. He's just going to clear it out. Okay, deep pylon and a deep curl hook, whatever you want to call it. Let's see here from this view. Good play action, good pocket. Okay, that, that was the theme of the day, in my opinion. He thought about throwing this. He would have had to flatten it because that safety's up top. Doesn't like it. Okay, it's only play five of the game. He launches this football. Not many tight ends can make that catch right there. Let's see it from this view, too. This is too sweet. Okay, doesn't like it. Move to throw. Hell of a catch. All right, 0-0 zero, zero still. First and three on the three. Thought this play design was pretty cool. Okay. And that's about the easiest rushing touchdown you can get. So, I thought this was sweet. So, I've I honestly never really seen this. So, you're going to bring this guy in motion. He's going to stop. He's going to become the flat route right here. So, it's a deep, heavy play action pass. You're going to have a deep over route. And you're going to have this deep inline route. So, you're reading one to two. To three, I thought DJ Moore actually spun out of this a little too early because I thought if Justin would have had a little bit more time in the pocket right here, okay, he's a little deep. This guy needs to push him by a little bit more. He's probably going to throw that for a touchdown. Then watch DJ Moore get in the back line. Like if he's not moving, this play is going to be wide open. And he's moving because obviously there is a red defender right in his face. But uh, I like the fact that, he, that DJ Moore comes out of it, scrambles with him. Said, hey, you know what? I'm just going to take the easy six. Thought he used his legs in such a great way, unique way, um, this game. Like, what, what's going on? What are we doing here up front? Okay, head down. This is probably a better view. Okay, that's what happens. Tight ends laid off the ball at home. Okay, 45 shooting the C gap. A, B, C, got to come down and get it. But this is the thing about Justin. When things break down, like there's three red defenders right there. He can make things happen with his feet unlike any other quarterback in the league right now other than Lamar Jackson. That's the theme in this game was him just using his legs to get out of trouble, using his legs to buy time to throw in this right here. Like this to me was not open at all. And I love the fact that they're doing this little play action fake right here. All right, all it is is like get lost, Seattle corner route. We've talked about it, clear out route. 12 is going to be the flat defender. So you're really reading one to two. Look at this timing right here. One, two, three, four, five, hitch, ball. See that quick hitch that he takes? Look at this quick hitch. Compared to the other quick, like long hitch, he's throwing this. The flat defender, okay, is right there. And the flat defender is a corner because they're playing this cover two look, which is fine. They're running a post right here. This should not be open by any stretch of the imagination, but he fits it in there before the corner and the safety gets there. Komet had a hell of a game. Look, look at this. That is an absolute dime to me. Like, this is sweet. Watch this footwork right, footwork right here. Okay, play action. One, two, three, four, five. Watch this quick hitch. Quick hitch. In rhythm, on time. He's even jumping a little bit. Look, he knows it was a tight throw. Did we get it? Yes, we did. And a hell of a throw. That's the trust and command in this offense. It's gotten a lot better since day one. They're starting to run this offense that Justin is really good at, in my opinion. Okay, here you go. One by three, bringing DJ Moore over. And once again, just look how fast he gets through the hole. Like, he is an elite, elite athlete. Like, when you can have a play like this, okay, all it is is quarterback lead. So, you're just leading up. We're here. They're going here. Everyone's blocked because you get an extra blocker. You have this versus pressure. He said, you know what? It's third and four. I'm going to keep it. When you can have a guy like this open up your playbook and just zoom through the hole like that, like you don't have to throw it on third and four to five. 
you got an extra blocker. This was blocked really well. Cole at the point of attack did excellent. 23's leading this. Like 70's going out. Okay, they got they got everyone blocked. Like Cole's going up there. 70's going to go out there. 23's going to go there. They're going to climb up to here. Like everyone's blocked. This is what happens when you have a running quarterback. Really good job by 65. My guy Whitehair right there getting him pinned. Look how quick he gets through that hole, man. I don't think I've ever broke down more quarterback runs in a uh, – in a breakdown than I have this one, but I like it. All right, three by one. These guys are letting it all out on the field. Rough hit there by Cole. Um, let me see, sorry, I just went through like five plays because I was so excited about that last play. All right, so this is the old slip screen. Okay, they're bringing pressure right here. So Cole is right here. Okay, he's gonna get lost, go up the field. Gotta get this deep over. Okay, this back is second. You see it all the time, but for them to hit it, be able to hit it again like this, really good job blocking. Okay, this guy gets lost right here. 24 goes there. Love that. Good trajectory on the throw. Didn't lead it too much. Gets his knees taken out. Love this play call. Aggressive is all get out. Like this is what happens. Just call these plays. And this is where you were not seeing the trust in Justin early in the year for throwing these type of plays. Okay. Like he's throwing this, not looking. If not, check it down. Like the coaching's gotten a lot better, I, I feel like. The offensive play selection's gotten a lot better, I feel like. Like everything about it. We're going to watch it from this view. Such a good job by Cole. That's what you say. Like, get it. Got to make sure you get a hold of this this five, and then go go through, fight traffic, get lost. Does just enough. Okay, Justin sells it enough. Look at that trajectory on the throw. Awesome job. Okay, third and one on the one. Here we go. A little motion, fake, fake. This is sweet. Like, how are you going to be right? All right, so I love this. So they're doing this fake, fake reverse. They're going to block out. They try to have this pop route to the tight end. He's one. And you're going to have this back line whip as two. Really good job. Patience by Justin. Just fake, fake. Okay. Gets through it. Knows he's not open. He's already back to number two on this whip route. Goes, <laughs> ends up. Going back to number one, you can't be right, okay? If you go and get him, you're going to give him a rushing touchdown. If you come up, you're going to give him a throwing touchdown. The amount of pressure that Justin puts on defenses is insane. You cannot be right. I like this play call right here. They're in a 6-2 goal line defense, 6-1 with Buddha at linebacker level. Fake, fake. Really good job by 84-2 on a three count right there. Justin knows it, man. He's playing with so much confidence. Like, if this confidence would have been here and this defense would have been playing like this in the early season, it would have got really interesting right there. Nice little sidearm throw. Couple more plays right here, third and two. This, this is wild to me because I watched this about 15 times and he just went 12 yards untouched. And, like, I got... I got no clue what this is. I think it's a run. Okay, but <laughs> this is so weird. The offensive line is blocking pass protection. They're doing a little bubble block. He's running off. So everyone but the offensive line, and really Justin thinks it's a, it's a run, but the offensive line is pass protecting. Okay, the back isn't sure what to do. This is just crazy to me when all hell breaks loose and you're able with a spy to just get a broken play like this and get a first down. It's excellent. This is crazy to me though. I had no idea what was going on because the offensive line is definitely pass proing. looks like Justin is trying to zone read, but 23 doesn't want it. And Justin take, I don't know. <clears throat> it's like, don't make a play, bad play worse. Just go take off. Look at that. Can't touch him. <laughs> these guys 
This is like, well, all right, this is what we can do with Justin. First and 10. Two by two, motion over. Fast motion by DJ Moore. Look at this. I mean, are you kidding me? This is wild. Doesn't count. It comes back. I get it. But like, when you're able to electrify a crowd like that, look, so here's a few things on this. So, Mooney's clearing out right here. He's clearing out. He's going to go sit up at 18 yards and he's going to go. I want you to watch. He misses this read. Yeah, he, he does. Because this guy is going to be wide open. Okay, he made that throw to commit in a much more difficult spot than he did this. Because this guy, for sure, 100% open right there, doesn't end up making it, but is able to just make plays with his feet. Like, there's nothing else you could say. And it's not only with his feet, because he's made plays scrambling outside the pocket and trying to find open guys and just constantly doing this. I thought this uh, was definitely a misread, though. Got to be able to throw this. Look at the pocket. Like, really good. There's just like a little sit route right there. All you got to do is just put it over Buda Baker's head right there. Doesn't do it. Okay, buy some time. It's got to be so frustrating as a defense to have this and just like, okay, yeah, it came back, but a 30-yard run. All right, third and nine, last play right here. Playing too high coverage. Once again, look, guys, you can make plays – with your legs and be an effective quarterback. This is wild. Slides, shows that confidence, that swagger. I'm telling you, I'm the guy. Like, it just goes on and on and on. That's what you want out of a quarterback, especially now that the league is changing. You want a guy that's able to make plays happen with his feet and says, you know what, just block. Miss, miss. Like, it's electrifying. Look, I thought he played one of his best games. Unique ways that he... Ran the football with his legs, made enough plays through his with through the air. It's going to be an interesting decision what they make.